I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand a strategy to answer the questions. Uh, we are working with derivatives of trigonometric functions. The question is a particle moves along a line so that at time t its position is s equals to 4 sine 4 t. What is particle's maximum velocity? So let me write down the equation. Displacement, s is our displacement actually, position, right, is equals to 4 sine 4 t, right. We need to find particle's maximum velocity. Now velocity is derivative of displacement, right. So ds dt is basically velocity, so velocity is ds dt. So if I find derivative of this, I get 4 times sine 4 t is cos 4 t derivative, right, uh, times 4. So that gives us 16 cos 4t, right? So that is the velocity as a function of time. Now the question is, what is particle's maximum velocity? Now to find maximum velocity, we need to find derivative of this function and then the critical points and then the answer, right? So those are the steps to follow. Now in case you have this question for multiple choice let us say so let me understand if we have a case where this question is for multiple choice questions right then what should be your answer this is what I want to discuss with you now remember one thing that uh, we are looking for maximum maximum velocity this is what we are looking for now we have 16 times cos of 4t now what is the maximum value of cos of 4t we know cos of 4t is between plus and minus 1, right? It is between plus and minus 1. So the maximum value it can take is indeed 1, right? Now that is the maximum value it can take. So, so maximum for cos of 4t is indeed equals to 1. And based on that, we can say maximum velocity can be 16 do you understand so we get straight away our answer maximum velocity is 16 so we don't really have to find the second derivative and do any kind of testing to find the answer right so this is a very important thing which I want to share with you now at times you may be required to find time at which the velocity is maximum or you may have to sketch the function or do something else. In that case only, you should proceed forward and do the second derivative, right? So, so we'll actually proceed forward so that you understand if the question is not kind of multiple choice, uh, then you could go forward and uh, investigate it a bit more. Otherwise, seriously, it is not required. You do have the right answer. Here, right I'm also purposely not writing units in this case because we're not talking about units in the question itself so at times if units are missing like that you could just write a number and say that is the velocity okay now let's go ahead so let's find derivative of velocity now derivative of velocity will be 16 times sine of 4t and cos 4t is the negative, right, times 4, right? So this is what we get. So this is 4 times 16 is uh, 64. So we get 64 sine 4t, right? Now, for the critical number, this should be equal to 0. That means uh, sine 4t should be 0, right? So that means sine 4t should be equal to 0 sine is 0 for which values well sine is 0 for 0 for uh, 0 or pi or 2 pi for example so these are the different values for which uh, sine of any angle is is 0 and that gives us different solutions so we say 4t is equals to either 0 or could be pi or could be 2 pi if you're talking about limited interval right so so from here t will be equals to 0 divided by 4 which is 0 or pi divided by 4 which is pi by 4 or 2 pi divided by 4 which is pi by 2 
so we do get these points and these are the critical numbers so we can now test these critical numbers okay so that is how we test it so we have the derivative of velocity which indeed is acceleration right so on this we have three critical numbers right there 0 uh, pi by 4 I could write this as pi by 2 right now those are the angles for us now for easy calculations what I will do is I will use uh, on either side of uh, of 0 of pi by 4 and at pi by 2 now we could also prove that which one is maximum out of these critical numbers by finding the next derivative right so at next derivative if I get second derivative of this as as negative in that case we have a maximum if it is positive we have a minimum right so at this critical point so that that is another way of doing it so let's go ahead with that also so we have acceleration right there and the next derivative will be let us write it down second derivative velocity will be will be negative of 4 times 64 so I'm not multiplying here I'm just writing like that and derivative of sine is cosine cos 4t right cos of 4t right so that is the next derivative now if I test for 0 then what do I get I get a negative value if I test for pi let us see what do we get so we have negative of cos 4t right so I'll test for different values of the function that is to say we are just trying to see what is second derivative when cos is 0 we know cos 0 is negative is 1 so that will lead to negative 4 times 64 right? so that is the answer for pi by 4 what is the value for pi by 4 so let's write down it is negative 4 times 64 times cos of within brackets pi by 4 means 4 times pi by 4 so that means just pi so we'll, so we'll write pi here equals 2 so we get a positive value so this value is uh, 256 which is positive do you see the second so at at the second critical point pi which is pi by 4 in this case we get positive value now let's test at pi by 2 also right so at pi by 2 the value will be we have negative 4 times 64 times cos of pi by 2 that means uh, 2 pi right so instead of t I'm writing pi by 2 so I get 2 pi so we get you could also write like this 4 times pi divided by 2 bracket close equal to so which is negative right so for pi by 2 the second derivative uh, for pi by 2 is less than 0 so it is negative so we have maximum for t equals to 0 and t equals to pi by 2 right if you test this out you'll get uh, the variation like this perfect so which will also give you the same result I kind of uh, extended this a bit here so that you understand that there are two different ways of doing it right so we get uh, at 0 or at pi by 2 the maximum right now in the velocity expression which we have this we could write t as 0 as soon as I write t as 0 I do get velocity as 16 right so so we get the same answer or if I write t as pi by 2 in that case also I get this as plus 16 right so for both we can check the velocity now we know that the velocity at 0 if I substitute here will be 16 and also velocity at pi by 2 is equals to if I substitute pi by 2 in our expression which is 16 times cos of within bracket 4 times pi divided by 2 we get 16 the same answer right so we get 16 so if the question is find the time when we have the maximum velocity then it may be necessary for you to do the needful so at t equals to 0 and at t equals to pi by 2 we will have maximum value of 16 right so that is how it could be done 
I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.